Let's look at writing some simple numbers using the power of 10. Let's start by looking at how it is that we would break apart 300 as a power of 10. 300 can be broken down as 3 times 100. And 100 as a power of 10 is written as 10 squared. So 300 is just 3 times 10 squared. 5,000, in much the same way, can be rewritten as 5 times 1,000. 1,000 can be written as a power of 10, that's 10 to the third power. So 5,000 is just 5 times 10 to the third power. As the numbers get larger, the process is still very much the same. Remember that 10 to the fifth power is 100,000. So 600,000, we take the 6 there, and we just multiply by 10 to the 5th power. Okay, it is your turn. Go ahead and write each of these numbers here as a multiplication problem using those powers of 10. Press pause while you're working on these problems. All right, for that first problem, did you get 4 times 10 to the 4th? For the second problem, that would be 6 times 100,000. And that 100,000 is just 10 to the 5th power. Finally, for that last one, that's 8 times 10 squared. Check your work. As those numbers get larger, the process remains very much the same. So for instance, when we are talking about 3 billion, then all we're talking about is 3 times 10 to the 9th. When we're talking about 7 million, that can be rewritten as 7 times 10 to the 6th. Here are a few more problems. We take that first number, 9. It's going to be times 10, and then we talk about that power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Millions would have been 10 to the 6th. That's why 10 millions are 10 to the 7th power. Here, this is a 100 billion number. In fact, it's 700 billion. And then so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's our power for that 10. And we have to much make sure to multiply by 7 there. So that's how we write those larger numbers. Okay, it's your turn. That first number is 800 million. Rewrite it as a product with a power of 10 as that multiplication problem. And that second one is 70 billion. Rewrite that as well. Press pause. All right, for that first one, did you get 8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 to the 8th power? And for that second one, it should be 7 times, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tenth power. 10 to the tenth power. All right, let's go ahead and review that 6 times 10 to the fourth. That means that 6 times... 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But I know that 10 to the 4th actually just evaluates to um, <laughs> 10,000. So 6 times 10,000 is equal to 60,000. Now, a little bit easier than that, I would just place the 6 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Even as those exponents got larger, 
That's just eight followed by seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I can go ahead and place my commas. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Eight times 10 to the seventh is equal to this here. And this here is what? 80 million. Even numbers into the billions. We're able to go ahead and work with those. So for instance, when we had 700 billion, which is that seven, followed by that many zeros, we write seven times 10, and then we count up those places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's seven times 10 to the 11th. That there is 700 billion. And that's how you write these simple numbers. And then we'll put it all together to write some larger, more complex numbers.